This is my entry to the tribute to Steve O.D. in the 313. It's gonna be hard to watch, man. Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. Today we're gonna be doing a tribute build. It might be a couple of parts to Steve O.D. in the 313. If you've been around the RC YouTube community in the last couple of years, at least, then you know who Steve O.D. and the 313 is. And um, <laughs> So we're going to be building the Lunchbox Black Edition, a very special vehicle. Um, I'm gonna do a custom paint job that I will reveal at the end of the build. So uh, without further ado, let's open this up and see what comes inside the box. Here we go. So the black edition actually comes with an electronic speed control. Good to up to a 19 turn motor. Instead of that 27 turn generic motor, for you Steve OD, we're gonna be putting in the Reedy Power 19 turn radon, a dual ball bearing, adjustable timing, powerful three slot armature, completely rebuildable as well. We'll also be adding fast eddy bearing kit. I'll be putting in a generic 25 kg servo. Plenty of torque for this vehicle. Binding this Flysky GT2B. Uh, the thing I like about this uh, transmitter receiver combo is you just leave that LiPo battery inside and it comes with a micro USB uh, charge cable. So we've got uh, your general lunchbox tires. Some chrome bits, the grill and bumpers. Uh, standard uh, plastic tree bits. Looks like some uh, suspension arms in there. Black edition comes with these pretty cool black wheels. Uh, headlight lenses. Oh, sorry, the sunroof or the moonroof, whatever you want to call it. And then we have another couple of trees, some more uh, chassis and suspension parts perhaps. Black edition sticker sheet. And of course the moment you've all been waiting for, the black edition. I don't know if it's licensed, I believe it's modeled after uh, an old Dodge van. If I'm mistaken, please correct me in the comments. There's a chassis, main chassis part. Got some more gearbox parts here by the looks of it. Of course, the lunchbox box. Bumper. Uh, some tools. More little gears. More little bits of hardware. Suspension parts. Your 27 turn general silver can to me a motor. More screws. More screws bushings, plastic bushings. Anyway, I'm going to be replacing them with metal bearings. Oh, and it still comes with a uh, receiver straw for those ridiculously old school long antennas which don't exist anymore. But it comes with it anyway. So that's what's in the box. Let's open this thing up and get started. Okay, so we've completed step one, which is just based plugging in your steering servo and then adding power to the receiver to make sure you center the servo. Step two is basically installing the servo horn slash saver. So that's what it'll look like by the time you're done step two. Okay, so step three is putting these chrome body posts on. I mean, at least they look like body posts to me. Chrome body posts for the black edition? 
Is there something I'm missing? Step four is simply installing the servo of what you already had made in step two. Just installing it into the chassis. Wow, step five, install the electronics. <laughs> Okay. okay, so if you're following along and you're building one of these as well, and you've completed step five, then hopefully you have something that looks sort of like this. And it wasn't really clear where to put the receiver, so uh, I just figured the spot next to the ESC looks great. So on to step six. We're going to put this thing aside and get what we need for the start of building the gearbox slash axle. Wow, they don't uh, waste any time Get right into the nitty gritty. So I've got everything I need for step six, start putting it all together. This rod here, which needs to be greased and so does the gear that it goes through. I'm using farm and truck grease. I don't know of machinery that works harder than farm equipment does. Now it says to use BD7s, but instead of BD7s, we are going to be using bearings from Fast Eddie. Here, like so. Seat the bearing. So, there we go. Now we're going to put the oil cap on. It's this little plastic piece here. One side goes over the little nipple that sticks out. The other side gets the screw. And that just about does it for step six. Step seven. Uh, instead of the BD7 plastic bushings, I'll be using bearings. And instead of their metal bushing, I'll be using a bearing for that as well. Once again, another one of these. We're getting it all greased up. This side's gonna get the spacer. And this bearing goes in here. Here, I'm probably not showing the camera, am I? And then this bearing goes in back here, and this bearing goes in the front. Now we're going to get all greased up. It's so silky. Back around before this bearing. Grease up the threads in there. And that's about it for step seven. Now, step eight, you're gonna have grease everywhere. And if you don't, you didn't do it right. <laughs> no, really, uh, this is all white gears. That's the diff. Putting this in between these two things that we just finished building. The three screws to hold it all together. That's uh, step eight completed. Put that aside. Step nine now is prepping the motor to connect to the axle. So step nine, it's basically the pinion, the connection to connect it to the gearbox, uh, making sure your uh, wires are nicely aligned properly. That's what it looks like with this kick-ass motor. On to the next, which is in fact, connecting the motor to the gearbox. Let's get to it. So there you have step 10, which also included building and putting on this cool metal little wheelie bar. So I think we're gonna wrap it up here. This will be part one of this build. My tribute to Steve O.D. in the 313. See you in the next one. Peace out.